Welcome to the Brief News Brief presented by the Life Given Radio. I'm your host, Isaac Lopez. Thank you so much for tuning in on this midweek edition. Uh, if you have been enjoying what you've been hearing on the Life Given Radio as the cut and the dry kicked off its first episode uh, this last weekend, and the Brief News Brief is off to a roaring start, uh, go ahead and hit sub- subscribe. Uh, on whatever platform you uh, may listen to. We're on YouTube, Facebook Watch, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and basically wherever you can find uh, your podcasts. So today we've got a quite a few stories to get to, but let's get the big one out of the way. Re- a recently underreported study from the CDC came out that had an interesting finding, even though that wasn't the express purpose of the study. The focus of the study initially was to determine if restaurants, coffee houses, and bars were higher risk places of contracting COVID, but there was something that the study found that caught the attention of many people. And this is a quote that I pulled from the actual study, and I will link to it in the show notes. In the 14 days before illness onset, 71% of case patients and 74% of control participants reported always using cloth face coverings or other mask types when in public. Close contact with one or more persons with known COVID-19 was reported by 42% of case patients compared with 14% of control participants. And most close contacts were family members. An interesting statistic, even though many cities are now uh, stating, instating a citywide face mask mandate. So more on that forthcoming, but I would like to hear your thoughts on that as this is from a report directly from the CDC, uh, and we will see uh, who will use this information. Now, this last Monday was Columbus Day, and yes, I still insist on calling it Columbus Day. Some people are not excited to still call this Columbus Day. Uh, According to a KSTP report, protesters in Portland tore down statutes of Presidents Theodore Roosevelt and Abraham Lincoln in a declaration of rage. They dubbed their event Indigenous People's Day of Rage, end quote. That's all I have to say about that. Nobody is safe if Presidents Theodore Roosevelt and Abraham Lincoln are being torn down. Hide your kids, hide your wives, because they're coming. The next one is... uh, NBA ratings. The NBA Finals just wrapped up this last week. Um, A couple of times we have observed ratings of major corporations dip and then stabilize on this podcast, and we've reported that uh, multiple times. Well, it seems that the masses have had their say, even though we've seen multiple times that uh, ratings will drop, they will stabilize and then go back up. With the finals now in conclusion, a report came out from Bloomberg that said the National Basketball Association finals, which concluded Sunday with the Los Angeles Lakers victory over the Miami Heat, averaged seven and a half million viewers on Walt Disney Company's ABC over the six games, a 51% decline from the same events last year. Now, multiple factors go into this. There were other major sporting events happening on multiple nights of the NBA Finals. Also, um, the debates and uh, were raging at that time. You could also tune in, apparently, MSNBC's coverage of the coronavirus had record high viewers. So there is definitely a lot more going on in the country, and not just... Uh, racial injustice and uh, virtue signaling put on by the NBA um, may not just be the only reason for viewers turning to other channels. So we'll see uh, if, if this doesn't stabilize next year, but a very sharp decrease in viewership. Now, in the world of politics, Judge Amy Coney Barrett's hearings ha- just rifle up the stupid in everybody. Uh, Although we uh, saw unprecedented levels of this during the Brett Kavanaugh hearings, ACB is not immune from it. Uh, Senator Hirono, I believe from Hawaii, asked Judge ACB if she had ever sexually harassed anyone in the past. 
You heard that correctly. Uh, a report from Fox News captured the quotes. And since you became a legal adult, adult, Hirono asked, have you ever made unwanted requests for sexual favors or committed any physical or verbal harassment or assault of a sexual nature? No, Senator Hir Hirono, Barrett replied. Hirono re came back around with, have you ever faced discipline or entered into a settlement related to this kind of contact? contact? Barrett said no, once again. From there, Hirono moved on to asking Barrett about her judicial philosophy. Now, it is important to note that Hirono has, uh, that all nominees uh, who come before committees are asked this question by her. Uh, so from what I've heard, this is just run the mill, but it is interesting um, that it still comes up even with her track record and even with uh, her family that she has right now. Moving on to our final story of the day. Um, just like I said, with um, the Portland riots, no one is safe. A report is circulating around Lancaster, Pennsylvania, that Democratic Mayor Deneen Soares fired her police chief for pro-Trump comments made by his wife on Facebook, according to the past president of the FOP fraternal order of police. The report makes it sound like it was either retire or be fired for police chief Jared Birkenheiser for Facebook comments made by his wife. In a common exchange on uh, the social media platform, Mrs. Birkenheiser replied to her friend, casually mentioned that she would be supporting Trump in 2020. Now, this is a direct quote from the report by Lancaster Online. Fioral, which is the past president of the FOP, said his account of Berkheiser's retirement is based on a call Berkheiser made to the FOP lodge seeking labor advice after Soros demanded his resignation. Since Berkheiser had not reached an agreement with the city at the time of the call, Fioral said he believes he can share the information with the media. So apparently the Democratic mayor was not satisfied with it being his wife's comments and didn't really look for reconciliation. Now, if there are any uh, stories you would like uh, the Brief News Brief to cover or you would just like to reach out to me, uh, you can reach me at the life given received at gmail.com. You can also find the podcast on Instagram at TLG Podcast uh, or sorry, at underscore TLG Podcast underscore or on parlor at TLG Podcast. Uh, you can also find the podcast on whatever platform you are listening to right now. As always, remember that the life that you have been given and the life that you have received includes every area of life. Why should current events be the exception? God bless, and I'll talk to you next time.